Hey, second graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about force and motion. We talked about a force called magnetism. And then last week we talked about motion and the different ways objects can move, specifically um, sliding, rolling, and spinning. So we're going to continue talking about sliding, rolling, and spinning this week. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be um, dipping some objects in paint and sliding, rolling, and spinning them across some paper and then comparing um, the different marks they leave behind. All right. So your target says I can trace and compare patterns of movement of objects such as sliding, rolling, and spinning. So right here, I have some um, objects that we tested out last week. One object that's really good at sliding, which is the die. When I push it, it slides. Um, one object that's really good at rolling, which was the marble. And one object that's really good at spinning, which is the top. So um, right here, I have some orange paint. Hopefully I can do this without too big of a mess. We're gonna start with sliding. So I'm going to take my die, dip it in the paint, and then let it drip off a little bit. And then I'm going to slide it across this paper. All right, there we go. Let's do one more slide just for Good measure. And there's a slide. All right, so there's our sliding. Next, we are going to, here, how about I label these? I'll do it upside down so you guys can see. This is our, Oh, it's hard writing upside down. Did I do it? Does that say sliding? <laughs> Hope so. So there's our mark left by sliding. Let's try our rolling now. So I'm gonna get my marble again. I'm going to dip it in some paint. And Oh, sorry, try not, oh, try not to make a mess here. And, well, that wasn't very successful. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Roll it in some paint. And rolling, rolling, woo, okay. <laughs> Only made a little bit of a mess, right? We go. Luckily, I have some paper towels right here. All right, so there's our mark left by rolling. Luckily, this is washable paint. All right, and then our last one is going to be spinning. So, for spinning, I'm going to use a top. Tops are really good at spinning. So let me dip it in the paint. All right, and, hmm, didn't work so well. Let's try this again. Whoa, that's what I was going for. Oh, goodness. Okay, that was a mess. All right, so there is our sliding, rolling, and spinning. Yikes, I hope I didn't get any on my computer. All right, so we made our, um, our marks of our sliding, rolling, and spinning. So now what I would like 
for you to do and what the kids in class will do is they will compare these different patterns of what each of these motions left on our paper. So take a second. Let me try and get this so you can see better. Take a second and look at our three patterns. We have sliding, rolling, spinning. Think about how are they different? How are they the same? What do you notice about them? Because remember, our target is to trace and compare. So what I notice is that the sliding is almost in a straight line. When things slide, it's very easy for them to move in one solid straight line. The rolling is kind of a straight line, but I notice that it kind of curves off a little bit. When things roll, it's a little bit harder for them to move in a straight line. And then um, our spinning is kind of just over, all over the place. We don't really even have a, a line, do we? We have kind of some small curved lines where the top was, was spinning. So one way that the rolling and sliding are the same or that they both made straighter lines one way that they're different is that the sliding was straighter, the rolling was a little bit more curved, the spinning didn't even really make a straight line. Okay, so I would love to see what you come up with. Come up with if this is something you choose to do at home. Um, you don't have to use a die, a marble, and a top. I just chose those three objects because. Um, they're easy to work with and I have a lot of them. And the die is really good at sliding. The marble's really good at rolling. The top is really good at spinning. You could use any objects that you have. Do I have paint on myself? <laughs> any objects that you have at home. Um, I would recommend washable paint and you saw why it's messy. Um, but I would love to see what you come up with. This is almost like a work of art, right? It's like we mix science and art by talking about how we can trace and compare patterns of, of movement. So I hope you had fun with that activity and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.